around the corner. So if you never had in and out this is the perfect place to get it. Don't. In and out, in and out, in and out, in Don't go. <laughs> don't go. So now we got Zuck. We got player four. <laughs> we got Zuck in 3D player four. So we got uh, Peach versus uh, Ricker. How does Peach handle this matchup? Uh, well, it's kind of difficult because as long as she's able to really weave around and get close to, uh, to Richter, then, you know, it, it's really her time to shine. That's when she can put the combo game on. But dealing with the forward airs, dealing with the Holy Cross, the axes, it's a it's a mini game in its own. Oh, in its own right, hey, yeah. A little cut, a little uh, quick time events, okay. A little actual platform in Smash Brothers, because uh, Zuck, ooh, I'm about to say player four, he handling, uh, he is okay. He's A-OK -okay right now. This man trying to uh, circumvent his way around the projectiles and doing big damage on the way. Not allowing uh, Zuck to um, to set up, which is important for a character like Richard. Yeah, it's really going to come out to the off-stage pressure. If player four is able to land one turnip, that's going to be a stock. It's going to be applying pressure with the turnips and forcing Zuck's recovery. Okay, good. Seeing this player four was started. smart enough to roll around the holy fire at the ledge. That's a big one. Here we go. Good back here is coming out from player four right now. Player four hanging on to the stock very, very well, and this damage differential can't get to that, that bad when you're playing Peach, because, oh, snuck him out of the air with the side beam. Very nice. Very well done. Ooh, snuck him out of the air with the uh, with the fair. My bad. Yeah, of course, you know, gets the tomahawk. Oh, has the holy water. Now, one thing about the holy water, as soon as you take possession of it, it's going to be uh, against Richter. But even if it bounces off your shield, then it can still hit Richter. You don't have to catch it for it to be a threat to Richter. Look at this. My man getting walled off by that mass and oh. catching the turnip. Yo, give me go. that. <laughs> no. No one on for that. Yeah, Zuck actually, like, tried to try to put a combo video on player four. He got the hit of the Holy Cross and tried to land to a drag down there. I know what, I, I know what he was going for. I've seen that one too many times. All right, and the back air. Not going to take it just yet, but 179. You might want to get the job done and catches the holy water while delivering uh, that booty. And my oh man, Zuck, one stock to go. No holy water. Can't set up anything. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I like about player four. You know, he, he knew that Zuck wouldn't be able to use the side B anymore. He's just kind of holding on to the bottom like, I got it, dog. You come to me. I'm about to say these low percentage combos getting off right now for, for Peach. There you go. Uh, using the Holy Cross, trying to pressure. He actually used it to cover his approach, so that's really smart from Zuck, too. Seeing some ag um, aggressive tools with his projectiles as well. Down smash to cover the roll. Player 4 has been rolling at the ledge quite a bit. We go, and this is kind of the range that Zuck needs to play at. Uh, every time he's gotten close to Peach, he's really taken a lot of like what seems to be unnecessary damage. But as long as he keeps Peach in range, even though you're not going to get every, you know what I'm saying, every fair, every aerial, you're, you're oh, playing your game, but uh, you're oh, dead. Oh, not dead. <gasps> My man, Spider-Man with the uh, uh, oh, stitch face. Ding. Oh, no. Didn't get it. Okay, Zuck. Well, landing the second hit of the, of the down tilt. Yep, this is where Zuck needs to play at right here in this range. And but getting hit by these fairs over and over again has not paid well, boded well for him at all. Here we go. Very well done. Player four, you might want to start respecting this space just a little bit. I mean, that was a good cross up back air from Zuck. Wasn't really expecting that to punish the Peach Bomber. Here we go, like the down air, I mean, uh, the down tilt. So, player four has actually been committing to full hops and even his double jump to try and get the approach against Zuck. At this point, I like to see Zuck use a little bit more axe to just cover that space. I wonder if he's uh, picked up on that yet. Yep, and so far we see uh, player four trying to wall him out on stage and Ooh. Zuck has cleaned up his neutral so, so much mm -hmm. since that first stock. And here we go, more acts like you said. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness, this is getting so good for Zuck. Okay, there's a holy water at the ledge. Good stall, making sure you do not land into that holy water. That's gonna be game over if, it, if uh, player four gets hit by that. Gonna say this is this is Zuck's game right now, really. To be if he just doesn't overcommit. 
Yes, and using the fire to get back and look at the ledge guarding from Zuck right now. Who? Getting clipped. Another holy water. More axes, That's more holy it. waters. That was an amazing comeback from Zuck. 191. Incredible. That's just the power of uh, you know, the projectile and the walls that, that Richter's able to throw out. These Belmonts aren't a joke. Yeah. And like I said, once the once uh, Zuck was able to just start setting up, he just had that that wall, that fortress. And mm. every time he tried to get back on stage, he made sure that he holy watered first, jumped over it, so that way he could just be covered. And poor uh, poor player four, he let that lead away from him very very fast. So here we go, game two. If player four keeps the lead, if player four uh, gets a lead, let's see if he can keep it this time. See if he can come out with the win, because uh, Zuck clutched that out hard. And okay, we see the down airs connecting at the ledge. Good option, it has a lasting hitbox, and it's a multi-hit too. Catching with another forward air. Getting more crown action from Peach. Here we go. And this is, this is what we talked about earlier, right? So now, Zuck. <laughs> oh, that was. That wow. stays by so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That stays by quick, fast, and in a hurry. He said, get him out of here. Eat the heels. Okay, landing last hit of down air. We're starting to see player four really utilize these down airs against Zuck. I don't, we didn't see them too often in game one. No, we didn't. We really saw uh, all this man player four and all he went, went for really was all these uh, these uh, these uh, floating back airs, and floating back airs, and just uh, you know throwing turnip all over the place. But ooh, okay, good low profile, avoiding the fair, uh, the four tilt, and Zuck. Now Zuck. Okay, using another axe, trying to apply pressure to these higher approaches. Oh, I think that act actually be okay. That was in danger of Zuck. Wow. But this is the game that Zuck <laughs> likes to play. He's like, bro, if you if you if you if you're not if you're gonna give me the space to throw, I'm gonna throw. So I'm gonna throw projectiles. So you need to in order to beat this man Zuck, you need to get like as much damage. You can't let him breathe, basically. Mm -hmm. And then that's what player four did such a good job of first stock, but here we are again, that comeback. Yeah, I know like player four tends to he seems to be uh, a little bit more patient than most Peach players I've seen. That might not be a good thing against Richters and Belmonts in general. You go, like the back air. Oh, he's got, got the dot eyes. Eight. Yes, sir, 151. Dash tag almost sending Richter off the top, but another turn is going to land. They're dropping very smart. That was a good change of pace because usually you would see uh, player four down throw the turn up yeah. to try and catch the recovery, but this time he just made it fall a little bit slower. Probably threw off Zuck a little bit. Yeah, I like it from player four. Playing a little bit uh, a little bit more intelligently. Understands the, the game. I think he finally understands the game plan that Zuck wants to do and now he's not making him pay for it. Okay, throwing it up in case Richter goes for the jump option from the ledge. Now Richter underneath the platform is going to be very dangerous. It's going to limit the high approach of player four, but still allow Zuck to really set up all his traps, like this holy water at the ledge. Here we go another forward throw and more projectiles on the way. Player four having the biggest difficulty coming back to stage and finally gets back. Another dash attack and ooh, and just catches him. See, look, and also Smashville is playing in the big factors this as well. Because, like, for projectile characters, they get this, you know, this platform under, and they can just chuck whatever they want. Yeah, they get a ceiling. <laughs> they, and, they just, and they just cover everything. And then uh, now player four in the situation once again where this man, he, he's putting all the damage on, uh, in the world on Zuck. But he has, has had this difficulty of just not being able to seal stocks that way. Okay, back air from player four. Now we see more turns getting thrown at the ledge. Oh, oh, that combo! Oh my God, nice! Yeah, and just keep it going. Swap player four right off the stage. More axe action. There's another axe force there. Get up! Oh no, this is gonna be big punish opportunity for Suck. Big punish opportunity for player four. 
Zuck having the biggest difficulty right now. Yeah, it's a good, now we have the back throw, of course, more axes, more holy waters at the ledge. We're seeing a situation similar to game one, and Zuck able to clutch out game two. So very well done, very well done uh, on Zuck's part. And like I said, like, he just had the game plan of like, okay, once I get a lead, I'm just gonna start, start the spam. And player four, unfortunately, didn't have an answer for it. Uh, Elegant told me a long time ago, like mm -hmm. when char characters like this, projectile characters like Samus, like Richter, like Simon, yeah. you know, you can't let them breathe. You no. can't. And no. with a character that's like, you know, has explosive damage potential like Peach, you, you just can't, you just gotta kill that character. You gotta fast. go in, you gotta, you gotta go, go in. in. Gotta play the West Coast style. Go in, don't think, bro. <laughs> rush that, More rush buttons. that dish down, bro. More buttons. Rush it down. So now it looks like my man, uh, Yoda Cage, is sitting down. That's right, he's gonna be going up against Goblin. Oof. So Big Body versus Roy. Pray for my man. <laughs> I don't know, man. This, this, this is Congo Saga. Yeah. He got the blessing. So this you know, they, they should be doing well in pools. Th this is very true. This is very true. But my man uh, Goblin, no stranger to the competition, does extremely, extremely well at, like, every major he's been to. I remember back in, uh, like, ever since he made that insane run at, uh, what was it, uh, Frostbite. Yes. So ever since then, this man has just been on the tear. He's a well-established, uh, well-established, established Roy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows who Goblin is. <laughs> but uh, Yoda Cage is going to have an opportunity for an upset here. Let's see if uh, his DK is up to par enough and he's going to be going to PS2. And uh, it looks like.